Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Chris and this video was requested from one of you and I thought it looked fun, so why not? So I asked a bunch of you on my Facebook platform and my Instagram to let me know some assumptions you might have about me and I'll answer them. So I got an overwhelming amount on, uh, on both platforms. So let's get started with the Instagram ones first and you can follow me on Instagram at the vegan zombie. Go over there and do that. So the first one says healthy vegan. I do consider myself pretty healthy. The most important thing to you besides veganism is family, including your pups. Yeah, that's pretty important to me. You are single. That's correct. You don't like mushrooms because you think they're fuel for zombies. Well, I didn't until now. Your IQ is over 130. I, I don't know. I took an IQ test once and it was over that, but who knows. You have superhuman powers that came about by becoming vegan. We all get them after going vegan. It's normal. I assume you're a good human, a sweetheart, actually. I'd like to think that I'm a good human. You are single. Hmm. You and John are brothers. Nope, we're not. We're just friends. You and Josh are related. Nope, we're not. You and Rachel are really a couple, not just BFFs. No, we're BFFs. I'm hot. It's a little warm in here, but I wouldn't say hot. You're a metalhead. No, I'm not. I assume that you might be a difficult person to date. That's probably correct. You're sexy. I don't know, is that an assumption or is that, is that a compliment? You want to be free, you don't want a relationship. I followed you because Jared Leto looks like you. You're 44 when I thought you were 22. Yes? Well, technically, I look like him because he's older than me. I assume you're a pretty good guy. I'd like to think so. You wish YouTube would pay you better. I think most of us do. People don't automatically assume you're straight because you're compassionate. Hmm. I don't know. Is that what you thought? You're a virgin. <laughs> You are always full of positivity and good vibes. No, I'm not. I'm just like any other person. Sometimes I don't have good vibes and I'm not positive and other times I am. You're super chill, nailed it. You're a pretty level-headed, calm person. Yeah, I'd like to say so in most cases. You love Cal. I would say that in certain forms of preparedness, I like Cal, but I don't know if I love Cal. I make a really good Cal chip, but just eating a piece of Cal plain, I'm not really a lover of it. When people annoy you, you try to ignore them first to see if that works. I guess it all depends on the situation and who it is. You avoid vegan drama channels. Most of the time, but sometimes I just can't help but clicking on something. But yeah, for the most part, I would say yes. You wanna be single for the rest of your life. You know, I don't know the answer to that because I thought different things 15, 20, 25 years ago than I think now. And my mind has changed over time. So I really can't tell you what the future holds. I might think something completely different 10 years down the line than the way I feel now. So I don't know, we'll find out. You're an extrovert. No, I'm actually an introvert and I've pretty much always been an introvert. I can be extroverted around certain people, around my family and friends. I would say uh, I'm truly an introvert, but in the last five, six, seven years, I've been able to become an extroverted introvert, if that makes any sense. You want to be a famous actor. I would love to be a famous actor. Um, I've always liked to act around, back to the introvert part, around like close friends or family, but not in front of crowds or anything like that. So I've always loved movies and acting has something to do with movies. And I would love now to be an actor in a movie. That would be awesome. And a famous actor, wow, I would have, I would have a bigger platform to, um, you know, get out the message that I'm trying to get out already. So yeah, that would be nice. I've pondered whether you're an extraterrestrial or not, but that's about it. You know, 
I might be. You like metal music. Um, generally, no, I don't, but there are some exceptions. You're flipping awesome and make great content. No, I'm fing awesome and I make great content. You're a nice human being. I'd like to think so. Thanks, guys. A lot, a lot of you guys are making like these really nice assumptions about me. You have a crush on this awesome vegan chicken organ, me. Hmm, do I know you? I just think you've been very helpful for the beginners on becoming vegan. Thank you. That's not an assumption, but thank you for saying that. You're actually 85, but nobody would believe you if you told them, so you say you're 44. Actually, you're incorrect. I'm much, much older. 1791 was the year it happened. I was 24, younger than you are now. The times were different then. I was a man at that age. Are you as nice as you seem? I hope so. That is not an assumption. I'm, I'm kidding. I try to be nice to everybody because what's the point in being a jerk? All right, moving on. You guys having fun? Is this fun? Is this fun? is you are a kind, honest man who enjoys life and helping others. I do enjoy life and I do enjoy helping others. You're right, that's a good assumption. You are the reason most of your friends are vegan. Um, I guess I helped a, quite a few people go vegan, but I would say that I'm not the reason most of my friends went vegan. You are honest and hardworking. I am, I am very honest and I'm very hardworking. So correct, again. You guys are so good. You're Jared Leto's body double. Actually, he's my body double, but I'm like three inches taller than him, so it's kind of like you gotta trick it in the camera. Okay, this I can't even read this one. This is by uh, a friend of mine too, Aaron. Old man, Aaron, can't read it on this channel. I just can't read it on this channel, sorry. You are compassionate and caring and outspoken of what you do. Keep up the good work. Not an assumption, thank you. You love dogs more than humans. I mean, I, I get more upset when a dog dies in a movie than a human, for sure. You don't like to argue with people. Um, I don't like to argue with people, but I'm, I'm really good at it. You love your job. I absolutely love my job, it's my passion. In the event of a zombie apocalypse, you would be seriously conflicted. That is a correct assumption for a variety of reasons. If there was a zombie apocalypse, I am a survivor. I'm gonna survive. But I have friends and family that I don't think would be okay on their own, so I would have to do double the work to ensure their survival. So, also, my pups. Yeah, I would be conflicted. Halloween had to have always been and is currently your absolute favorite holiday pretty much i love halloween it is one of my favorite holidays but i also really like christmas for different reasons but yes you are correct i love halloween it's one of my favorite times of year along with christmas you're straight edge and into hardcore all right so part of that is correct i am straight edge um i used to be into hardcore just not really too much my thing i like certain bands but uh, i wouldn't say i'm too into hardcore although it is part of my past. You're going to be vegan for life, absolutely. That is a correct assumption. When I went vegan, I did it for life. All right, we're done with the Instagram questions. On to the Facebook questions. You like metal. Generally, no, I don't, but there are certain songs that I do like. You can tell men the secret hair conditioner that you use. You have special dog secrets that the dog whisperer hasn't even heard of, and you can help introverts be more comfortable in public. I have secret hair conditioner. I don't, I don't, I wish I did. I have dog secrets that even the dog whisperer hasn't heard of. I mean, obviously. And I can help introverts be more comfortable in public. Um, I, I did do uh, several videos talking about my own personal experience overcoming. Um, being confident in uh, public. So yeah, hopefully maybe that is true. Anyone who buys Hustle Butter should be on my friends list. Who got inked and where's the pick? All right, so the first one is, yes, I have some Hustle Butter right here. Nobody got inked. Um, my friend works for the company 
And when I visited down in New York City, he gave us a bunch of hustle butter. Even though I'm not inked, um, I like it. I assume you get irritated with traffic when driving in rush hour. Almost always, yes. I hate traffic so much. I hate driving in traffic. Uh, it's bad enough here, but when I go to LA, it's like a, a thousand times worse. I, I couldn't live there unless I was really, really rich and could just afford to pay somebody to drive me around because I really, really hate it. It makes me tired too. I'm like, I'm gonna fall asleep in the middle of this traffic. You know, and I used to live in uh, the DC area, which is one of the worst traffic, but then going out to California and seeing LA traffic, I'm like, what? How do people do this? You came from heaven to clear up my doubts about shopping at LD and the Dollar Tree. I actually came up from heaven. You are the kindest, most genuine person who love walking barefoot in the backyard. I mean, you might be more uh, kind than I am. The barefoot part in the backyard, totally wrong. I would not do that. Don't do it at barefoot in my yard because you might have smelly feet. Diligent and vigilant. Thank you. Right on. You're very serious and focused when taking on a project. You don't seem to be totally relaxed and happy very often. P.S. Thanks for the years of hard work. Much appreciated. I am very focused when I take on a new project. Um, I try to do the best I can in whatever I do and I don't totally seem relaxed and happy very often. I think that's just my rusting face. I'm pretty content and pretty happy most of the time. Uh, obviously, if I'm not, then you might see it on me because I am genuine and honest, and if I'm not feeling happy, then it's hard for me to pretend that I'm happy in front of you guys. You know people wouldn't have assumptions if they just watched. Okay, I got one. Malnourished? Hmm. You hate non-vegans? All right, so malnourished, no, no, not malnourished. And no, I don't hate non-vegans. Um, my, my dad's not vegan. I've got a lot of friends that aren't vegan. If you're talking about the anti-vegans, the, the ones that have agendas against veganism, then no, I don't hate them. I just, I, I really dislike the, uh, the kind of information they're spreading. It's false, it's so false. Weird flex, but okay, none. I'm not really sure how this is a flex. Somebody asked me to do the video and I thought it'd be fun, so I did it. You're an amazing tap dancer. Uh, I can't tap dance. Future film star. I guess we'll have to find out. You're asexual. Do I give that asexual vibe? No, not true. You're a lot like my hubby. To know if that's true, you have to come meet us in Hawaii. We love you and your channel. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I am like him. I, I wouldn't know. Best dog dad ever. Of course. You wear your jeans approximately four times before washing. Unless they're really, really dirty. No, I, I'll even go longer without washing. They actually say, try not to wash your jeans very often, so. But the kind of pants I wear aren't even really jeans, so. It's been a while. You lead Bingo at the Syracuse Old Folks Home on every third Tuesday of the month. That sounds that sounds fun. I would I would I but it no I don't. You have a secret desire to go off the grid and raise pygmy llamas. Did I give that vibe? Which video did I give that vibe? You don't love like pets or animals, obviously. Being vegan, choose to respect them. You're germophobia runs your life. Yeah, I think you're spot on here, but I just wanna clarify because I just wanna make sure I am understanding what you're saying. So obviously I, I love my dogs, like they're part of my family, um, but other animals, I I just, I respect them. I want them to live their lives um, unharmed by humans and live their natural lives. I, want, I respect them and I don't, um, I don't feel like a need to go out and pet every animal I see or anything like that. Although, you know, I do what I can and I always have to, to help animals. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I respect animals. I think that they should be able to, to live a free life just like, just like we are. So, uninfringed by, by humans. Germophobia runs my life. I, I wouldn't say it runs my life, but I'm very cognizant of it. You have a great sense of humor and maybe a little OCD. 
Well, I would say maybe you have a great sense of being correct about a little assumption about me. That's crazy. Correct. You talk to random animals you pass during the day. Hmm, never thought of it, but I guess I do. You're 35. At one time, I was 35. Probably a very kind and loyal friend. Correct, I'm always loyal to my friends, always, and I would say I'm pretty kind most of the time. You're not a competitive person. No, uh, that's incorrect, I'm very competitive. You smell like patchouli, and you have awesome, loving, and supportive parents. And then a comment to that says, uh, I would guess sandalwood. No, actually I smell like Chipotle, and I <laughs> no to both of those. I don't smell like either of those, I don't think. And um, I do, I do have awesome, supportive, loving parents. They're great. You are not a short in summer kind of guy. You are correct, if I can help it. You're germaphobic and sometimes you have to force yourself to do some things you need or want to do. Side note, right now is a good time to be a germaphobe. Correct, I am. And it is a good time to be a germaphobe. Corona. You and Big Josh are gonna do a vegan version of Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Not a bad idea. Did you know that Kumar was a vegan when they filmed that movie? You like to chop wood with an ax in your spare time. I actually don't mind chopping wood, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do it that often. It's very, very, very rare that I've ever chopped wood, but it was fun when I did it. You used vegan ink for my tattoos. Well, number one, I only have one tattoo and I did it myself when I was 14 years old and I have no idea if that ink was vegan or not. It was before I was vegan and there it is right there. It's on my hand. Ah. Um, and that's the only tattoo that I have. You like zombie movies and sci-fi events. That is so correct. You love old school and punk and thrash. Um, Eh, not, not so much. Some, I guess. Not really. You secretly like hockey, but never talk about it because you don't want people to think you're a Canadian. I never really liked hockey, but I did go to a hockey game once here at the Syracuse Crunch. There was a fight. You love German Shepherds. I do. I do love German. I love my two German Shepherds and uh, my long ago German Shepherd. I love German Shepherds. All right, guys, that's it. It's all the questions. I read them all, and thank you for doing this. I hope it was fun. It was fun for me. I liked it. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not already. Hit the little bell so you don't miss my notifications. You can always support the channel and get something awesome by picking up some of my merch. I got the t-shirts, the hoodies, the aprons. I even got the beanies here. And um, I have an ebook, so check that out. And don't forget to subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next one.